I'm just going to have a look at the pen tool at the moment, and this is uh, a tool which is very frequently used in graphic design, and it's used for uh, drawing bezier curves and straight lines in your design, uh, typically when you're tracing or just when you're drawing curves, lines and closed shapes. So we're going to take this example of this um, bike sketch and we're going to trace over the top of it. So first of all, I'll select the pen tool and you'll see the context toolbar changes to present these pen specific options on top here. Now this is area here, the mode area is very important because it knocks the pen tool into different modes of operation, the way that uh, the curves are created or the lines are drawn. So by default, we always work in pen mode, and that's what you'll see to start with. So the pen mode works in two different ways. First of all, you can draw by just simply clicking once, twice, three times to create straight line segments. Or if I just do an undo twice, I can do the same click once, twice, but instead of clicking a third time, I'm going to hold the mouse button down and just drag upwards. And you'll see this pairing of control handles, these blue lines with little blue dots on the end, and they govern the depth of the curve and the length of the curve. So longer control handles, more depth to the curve, shorter control handles, the kind of the uh, shallower the curve becomes. And you can change the direction of these and drag them in any way. And it's this uh, practice of being able to drag the control handles by a controllable amount in a controllable direction that makes great Bezier curve drawings. So I'll just release there and I'll just press the escape key. So carrying on in the same mode, I'm just going to click again here and drag in the opposite direction just to formulate the, uh, again, if you see underneath the sketch there, I'm just trying to match up with that. You can see that um, that's probably about right there, the direction, the length of that control handle. And I'm going to come around and I'm going to drag in the opposite direction, just about there, just to make the petrol tank or gas tank just touch the stem of the handlebar there. And I'll release and finally I'll just come back to the initial node and just click once to close the shape off. Let's move on to the smart mode. Just enable that there, smart mode. And we can do something similar to how we started off in that which you can click once, twice, a third time, a fourth and then a fifth up here. And you can see that I can formulate this shape here where I haven't had to drag control handles. In fact, the control handles are calculated for me at each point, which makes easier drawing. But you've got less flexibility if you want to introduce different types of curvature. OK, I'll just press the escape key now just to terminate that line or curve. And we'll go to a third option, which is the polygon mode. And here you can see this line here, which goes around like that. It's kind of like the rear um, fork there and the um, mud guard, if you like, just here. And I want to just simply just click once, twice, and three times. And that creates a polygon uh, shape uh, or rather a curve, which is straight lined always. Uh, so you don't need to worry about control handle dragging, etc. Um, or any kind of smart mode. One final mode is the line mode. And this allows you to draw self-terminating straight line segments. So you don't have to worry about pressing the escape key. You can do these repeatedly. And finally, jump over to the ellipse tool and using a combination of command shift or control shift on windows and dragging from kind of where the axle would be on the wheel just drag outwards to create a nice circle just release that I'll just copy and paste that with the move tool and drag this along with the shift key pressed 
to just position that into place. A really good tip for you is that if you want to edit the curves at any point in time, with the pen tool enabled, uh, you can press the command key or control key on Windows to just move into a kind of a, an editing. It's effectively using the node tool for editing the curves. And you can click on any particular curve and adjust it, fine tune to your satisfaction. Okay, so the pen tool can be a little bit unforgiving uh, when you're drawing with it for the first time. It takes a little bit of practice to get used to. Um, what I would suggest is that you, you do practice with it, but also try and use the node tool, which is kind of like the um, sister tool to the pen tool, which allows you to just modify and adjust the uh, curvature and uh, lines that you're drawing, just to tweak them into uh, the perfect um, arrangement for you.